Hi friends, my name is Cassidy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I was looking up challenges that I could do and I came across one called the Homeless Author Challenge. <laughs> anything on it because every link that I clicked on went to uh, this page no longer exists page so that was fun uh, basically a rags to riches challenge but instead of like collectibles and stuff it's just writing so it's gonna be a little bit harder I might let her collect a little bit of stuff just so she doesn't like starve to death but uh yeah for the most part, it's going to be like writing, writing, writing to see like how quickly she can get rich from writing. Here she is. Her name is Rebecca Mueller. I just randomized her name. I was going to dress her like kind of nerdy, but then I don't know what happened. I'm going to have her live in Brindleton bay in one of these empty lots over here all right so i got rid of all of her money just like in a rags to riches challenge so i'm going to send her to the library so she can work on her writing i don't know if they have a library i know this museum has a computer so we'll go to the museum they have a computer here i think and we're going to use it to write. There's a celebrity. There's Judith Ward again. Judith Ward is like everywhere. In my other series, Judith Ward is. In the first few episodes, she was everywhere my sim went. I haven't seen her in a while in my other. My Rex to Riches challenge. These people won't leave my sim alone so she can write. All the other sims finally left. I gave her the best selling author aspiration and the romantic bookworm creative traits. She's already reached level three of writing and she's almost done with her second book. I'm going to work on getting her knees up a little bit and then we're going to go back to her lot and publish her books. I'm going to have her go to her lot so she can publish her books. You have the money to publish your books. I hope not. I gave her the romantic trait because I feel like she's going to be like a romance writer. I'm going to self-publish her books and then I'm going to go... I'm trying to find her something to eat. So she has two books published already, so she'll get a little bit of money from that tomorrow. But really, it'll probably only be like three simoleons per book. There's something to dig up right there, so we're gonna dig it up, and maybe it'll give us enough money to buy some dinner. I'm gonna go take her somewhere and try and find her some dinner. And I'll go and find another computer and write some more. I didn't realize there was a refrigerator and a stove on this lot. If she can actually make her own dinner. I'm going to make her a salad so she doesn't like catch herself on fire. She got $50 from selling a rock. So that should be enough to like feed her for a few days. I don't really have to get any more collectibles and she can just like... She just write for the rest of the time. She's really tired, so I'm gonna find somewhere for her to sleep. I'm gonna send her to the library in Willow Creek so she can get some sleep and then in the morning be there ready to go and write some more books. If there's anywhere for her to sleep. Oh, she found a bench. Okay. She's napping outside, so hopefully it doesn't rain. Where did she get a laptop from? 
Oh, she had $25 in, um, she had $25 in royalties on her first day. I assume she has a laptop and I have no idea where it comes from. She just spent 10 simoleons and I don't know what she bought. She might have bought some food and then not got it. In her inventory, there is no laptop, so I general, genuinely do not know where that laptop come from or where it went. Okay, she must have bought this yogurt. So I'm gonna have her go get it and eat it. I feel like this might not take as long as I thought it would since she's already making $25 a day, which is two children's books. One is only worth a few simoleons and the other one is worth 21. One's worth four and one's worth 21. I'm gonna have her write a motivational book because she's confident right now. I don't know if that'll be worth more money or not, but I don't think it'll hurt to try. I like when she has enough money to like have a computer in her own home. This will go a lot quicker because she'll stop like talking to random sims while she's trying to work. She just reached level four of the writing skill, which is pretty cool. She's only been doing this for like two days. When she gets done writing this book, I'm going to send her to the park in San Machino since they have that house thing. So she, cause they have a bathtub there, a kitchen, she can have a bath and she's going to use a portable computer again. I like, where is this laptop coming from? I, okay, I did not tell you to do that. She bought her some food and then she went to sleep on a bench. I was going to send her to the park um, and have her fix some food, but she said, no, I want to take a nap on a bench. But she's buying something else. Home girl. But two hot dogs. Okay, for real? We're gonna put them in our inventory and we're gonna go to the park. She literally wasted like 22 simoleons on hot dogs. That's almost all of her royalties that she made on hot dogs. I haven't published the book she wrote today because she. Her knees are too low, so I have to get her knees up. I can't get her knees up at her home lot, so... I feel like this challenge is going to be more difficult. I feel like once they start getting more simoleons, it'll be easier than the Rex Riches Challenge, but until that point, it'll be more difficult than the Rex Riches Challenge, like the startup is more difficult than the Rank Search Challenge. And now she's spent eight simoleons, blah, 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 eight simoleons on coffee. I am so done with this sim. Like I've literally never had a sim so annoying before in my life. Like what are you doing? I'm gonna eat this hot dog real quick before it spoils. She made 26 simoleons today. I'm still like really mad. Have her get her a drink of coffee. Take a bath. She did a bubble bath. Have her sleep a little bit more. Even though it's the middle of the day. I guess it doesn't really matter if her sleep schedule is out of whack because she doesn't have a job. She's just like writing and she can write in the middle of the night, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna have her eat something. And then I'm gonna send her to her home lot and publish the book she wrote yesterday. I'm gonna have her go to the library in Windenburg. But I never go to this library, so I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. There's nobody at this library. Granted, it's like super early in the morning or really late at night, whichever way you want to look at it. 
but there's like nobody here, which is perfect. But that means she can write without having someone interrupt her. She finished her book. Never go to the bathroom. And then I'm gonna write another book. There's people at the library now. Hopefully they'll leave my sim alone. She's reached level five of writing now. There's a major, major storm going on here in Lindenburg. Is that what it's called? I I never use the names. I'm just like, yeah, that one. She earned 59 simoleons. I'm sending her to her home lot to let her publish the books that she just wrote. It's like super hot. Make sure she changes into her warm weather clothes. Otherwise she might die. Okay, well she's a celebrity now. So that's fun I guess. I really don't care. Okay, so. I sold her book to the publisher and we're gonna hit up this bar again since they have the little kitchen I want to get something to eat. Alright guys I'm gonna end this here. Don't forget to like this video because it really helps out my channel. Subscribe so you'll know when I post in the future. And leave a comment down below any sims content that you would like to see me do and i will see you later bye